Morning world, um, it's a beautiful day. It's a, a little chilly, but blue skies. I mean, look, look at that, blue skies. Um, so today, some long overweighted um, footage and content really to do with the car behind me, the S3. Got a few jobs to do. Um, one of them is an oil change, a uh, cabin filter as well, fuel filter, uh, and the hull deck system. So this may be two or three different videos. Definitely want to get the hull decks done today. Um, but I've got a lot on at the moment, so I'm trying to juggle jobs all over the place, to be honest. But yeah, definitely want to do the hull decks, and then in the future videos, we may do the oil change, fuel filter, everything else like that. So stay tuned. It's uh, the hull decks first. All right, let's um, let's get changed. Uh, let's get uh, the car jacked up, lay underneath it, and um, yeah, let oil dribble down my arm. Perfect. What a way to spend your Saturday. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen and boys and girls and, and anybody in the world. Let me show you what we're dealing with today. So we have some high performance oil for all wheel drive couplings. Yeah, that's Haldex stuff. So yeah, Volkswagen Group, Audi, blah, blah, blah. So original stuff, no cheap copy stuff. Um, also got an original, Oops. I should have got these out of the bag. So an original filter in there. Okay, original cap and uh, all the bits you need to do your hull decks. Um, yeah, plus the receipt, which um, hmm, let me just uh, yeah, there's some um, yeah, 70 quid's worth there, uh, and that was a good price. Uh, that was on discount, so yeah, 70 quid just for the parts alone. Hmm, right, let me show you what we're uh, what we're doing. Okay, so we've got the car up, we're underneath it. Now, I did try and video this about two years ago when I last changed it, but it, it turned into a complete pig's ear. But basically, for anybody that's never seen one, that is your rear diff, uh, the Haldex unit. And what you've basically got, if I can move you around, because it's all really accessible, um, you've got a pump just there. Okay, that's your pump. What that does is, depending on how much power needs to go to the back wheels, because bear in mind, any four-wheel drive system with a hull dex is front-wheel drive most of its time. But when you give it some, that pump there energises, it pumps up the fluid inside, pressurises it, and in there is a clutch pack, and basically it just squeezes it all together, and that engages the, the back drive as such. The uh, rest of the time it's three-wheeling. That there is your control unit. Okay, that thing there. They can sometimes go bad, they sometimes get water in them, so if your Haldex isn't working, it could be that, but it should come up on the, on the scan. Um, <laughs> and, and nice and accessible, if you can just see in there, let me point to it, that there, that is where your filter is. So you've got to get right up in there, past all your exhaust system. Um, I might drop the pump just to make sure that there's no gungeon stuff in there uh, but it depends how clean the oil comes out it shouldn't be too bad because like i say I only did it a couple of years ago so that is your filter up there that is your pump which you can or, or choose you can choose to take it out and clean it it's entirely up to you uh, the Haldex control unit you won't have to touch but to drain it um you've got a drain plug there okay that is your bottom drain plug um it's a tiny little I, 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 i'll try and tell you what the actual um, fitment is when we get closer but there you go that's in there and your fill is up there very difficult to get in here and I hope you can see this okay I've got the light on just to, to try and add a little bit of uh, visibility for you um, but yeah basically uh, I'm going to drop the bottom one there to drain it I'm going to drop the top one there obviously to fill it uh, and then we've got to get the filter out, obviously. So, right, let me get in there. Let me try and find the socket that fits. I'll try and tell you what size it is to help. And we'll get the oil drain. There's not much in there. Um, and it's not a bad job. It's just, it's just tricky. That's all. So I found a bit that fits. There you go. That, uh, oh, get the camera steady, Reeves. So that one fits. Um, what's it actually say? Um yeah um right any other viewers out there with good eyes young eyes can you can you see what that says can you can you see it can you what is it tell me don't even think it says oh might be something on there um bear with i'll try and find out 
So the only thing I can make out, it says CR-V5, which doesn't sound like anything at all. Hmm, sorry about that. Um, that was no help whatsoever. Oh well, moving on. So I think my next purchase is going to be some more uh, spine drives. <laughs> uh, for the simple reason that um, with that there, I can't get my socket on, or my wrench on rather. Um, I think I've got this problem last time. I, I'm i sure I had a socket to fit this, or a, a small spline to fit this, but I can't find it. Um, yeah, so when I do jobs like this, if I find issues, I, I tend to just order things. And so they're there, ready and wait for the next time. Right, um, plan B. Yeah, nothing like a bit of cobbling together engineering. It's the British way. Or you could use a 7mm socket, which fits over that perfectly. <laughs> right, in the end, <laughs> reverted to an Allen key. Hmm, oh well, it works. Right, so that's cracked it off. So here's the point where I get oil. All the way down my arm. Um, got my spill catcher on the floor. Got my trusty catcher bucket. <laughs> Kitchen bowl. So here we go. Plug out. Let's see what sort of colour this oil looks like. Again, shouldn't be too bad. And it's not a terribly bad job. There you go. It's pretty clear, pretty clean to be honest. So... It's one of those maintenance jobs that I do every couple of years. Um, the Haldex doesn't need doing every couple of years, but um, I do. Um, but if you're going to set it to a garage, be warned, it ain't cheap. Right, let's let that drain and then I'll show you how to get the filter out. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Okay, for the next bit, big guns come out. So we've got um, half inch drive connected to a, is that a three quarter drive? I think it might be. <laughs> big old sucker like that. And um, what size is this? This is going to be Imperial. Um, so it's 3 sixteenths BS. Hmm, BS. Interesting terminology. Um, it's big. I think it's about 23 off the top of my head. Or maybe 24. Not 100% sure. Helpful, aren't I? So the question is, can I get in there? Right, let's do the car shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Shimmy. So we've got a little bit of room up there. I'm hopeful. Right, there is the plug. Oh, blimey heck, yeah. Um, right, <laughs> my camera skills are useless, as I can see, and I'm gonna struggle with one hand, so give me a second. <sighs> well, this is a little bit of a struggle. Um, I know it's, it's definitely 23. I can guarantee that's 23. And I know I had a 23 mil socket. I know for a fact I have a 23 mil socket and I can't find it now. Um, so I can only surmise where that's gone. Um, but uh, yeah, there's not a lot of room in there. So I'm having to, um, yeah, use some flexes and things. I'll get it. But um, yeah, it, it is tight as you can see. Well, I hope you can see. Let me, let me get you right in there. So there's, there's not much room to do anything. <laughs> Here's a pain in the backside, as I said earlier. Um, all right, let's waffle. Let's get on with it. So here's the solution. Half inch wrench, extension bar, wiggly joint, a step up, a three quarter inch Whitworth. <laughs> and it's turning. <laughs> oh, what a bodger. And there you go. It's off. We're dripping oil. Eee, lovely. I'll keep the exhaust coated anyway. Right. Uh, caps off. Let's get the filter out. Uh, right. I'm hoping there you can see, but probably not. Um, let the caps off. The filter's inside there. Um, yeah, this is not very good camera work. So um, let me just pull the filter out. Uh, this is, of course, the bit where you get... All the oil dripping down your hands. Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> One filter. Now, do note that the spring goes to the inside. Yeah, again, feels nice and clean as I expected because it's only been changed a couple of years ago, and these don't get that dirty. Um, not seeing any real sludge in there either, so 
may not bother with uh, taking the pump out itself because it's a bit tricky too but um, there you go that is the filter in the Haldex system one thing to be warned about when you're doing this it's a lot of stink oh, dear. right let's get the new filter in right so as I said the spring goes to the inside um, you'll notice with the kit uh, you get an o-ring that o-ring has to go onto the filter cover so as you can see on this one the o-ring is just there and that's obviously what seals it and your Heldex won't work properly if you don't seal it in so that seal goes on there like that so the seals on all you do now is clip it in place there you go you just push the cap on like that and that's ready to go back in again right back to <laughs> yeah lots of grunting to, to be done today right back to um getting the filter back in so again uh bugger hold on two hands <laughs> so not entirely sure if this is going to work and you're going to be able to see anything but um what i was trying to say is put the filter back in before it dropped on my face um there you go so that basically pops in there it's spring loaded there you go i think you can see that um, and the cap obviously holds it in so basically that just fits in the hole it's as simple as that um, apologies if the camera work is absolutely naff but um, yeah I ain't got much room to work with and yeah then the cap just goes back on again like that alright let's get my socket in there and try to tighten that up um, again do not hang off this it's a steel plug and it's an alloy body so it just needs nipping up you've got an o-ring in there to seal it so yeah don't go mad right so yeah there's the bung back in again uh, that we drained it uh, there is the fill bung up there um, so now I've got to put together some sort of concoction to get oil into there what I've got is from the previous fill um, like you know corking guns um i've got a cartridge that fits in that with a tube on it and that seems to work quite well so i just fill the the cartridge up with the corking gun and uh, and push it in it doesn't take a lot i think it's about half a liter um maybe a little bit more maybe three quarters but uh right let's get filling again with anything to do with gearboxes these units when the oil starts coming out of there um that's the point where you stop filling so this is what I had before uh, when I did the last Heldex change. Um, so it's just, yeah, like I say, a cartridge with a corking gun and um, I've just got a piece of uh, rubber hose coming off it. Seemed to work quite well. So um, yeah, I'm going to uh, give it a try again and uh, fill it up with oil, um, which is, I'm trying to find 275 milliliters in this one. I don't think it took much more than that, if any more than that, but uh, let's get it all set up and uh, I'll try and tell you how much I'm putting in. So there you go, got that charged up. Um, so I'm not going to video this bit because um, it's going to be tricky. But basically now I'm just going to fill it up using this contraption. So there you go, yeah, just got the pipe stuck in there. Now bear in mind that pipe's going to pretty much plug the hole, so I'm going to have to pull it out periodically uh, just to make sure I'm not overfilling. But uh, yeah, let's get filling. Okay, so that is one tube in. I've been periodically pulling the cable out, but. Let me just get this ready, just in case. Um, let's see where we are. Ah, okay, so right, that was um, that was one tube. So we're going to need a bit more. Right, bear with. So so far, we've used about three hundred milliliter. Um, there's a thousand in here. So um, let's put about let's put a couple more in. Well, I'll be honest, it takes more than I remember. <laughs> it's probably going to be near a litre. Right, that's the uh, that's the third one. Well, ironically, I've just found the last one. This is the last bottle I had. And, um, yeah, it looks like it, it uses all but about 150. So, um, yeah. There you go. It does almost use the, uh, the whole litre. And there you go. We are good. Let's just get that, that, get that under there. So, yeah, it's, um, how much have I left? Let's have a quick look. Yeah, about 100 and, 
130, 100, well 1.3, but 1.3 is left. So just going to let that drain out until it reaches its level and then put the bung back in, clean up a little bit. We are done. There you go. The plug is back in, a little bit of mopping up and we are done. So that is basically, my friends, how to change the oil in a Haldex unit. As you can tell, it's not overly difficult. It's tricky. Um, don't get me wrong, getting to the filter is a pain in the backside. Um, but actually doing the job isn't too bad. Um, and if you take it to Audi, it's probably going to cost you three or four hundred quid to have that done. I've done it for, what was it, 70 quid, I think I spent on parts. And um, my time, obviously. Right, so the next in the series of videos is going to be, I've got a cabin filter to change, I've got a fuel filter to change, I've got an oil change to do. Um, so I'll take you through those, but it, uh, I think this will do for this video. And the next ones will come very soon. Thanks for joining me. Hope it helps. Bye all.